Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can make one of these hanging heart felt decorations. It's quick and it's easy and they're great at any time of the year and if I can make it, so can you. For this project you're going to need some stuffing, some embroidery thread, a needle, a piece of paper, some ribbon, a felt tip pen, some scissors and some coloured felt. First thing to do is to make yourself a heart template. So we fold our paper in half and using the felt tip I'm just going to draw a half heart shape. You're going to use your scissors to cut along the line that you just drew and you'll be left with a template. Next we're going to need to cut out two heart shapes. Here you can see I've folded over one edge of my sheet of felt and I've left my template folded in half. What you do is you line up the folded edge of your template and your felt together and then cut all the way around and you need to do that twice. Then you'll have two hearts of the same size and shape. So these are my hearts. You can see this one is already decorated with some daisies and some French knots. So I'm going to show you how to do that in just a little while but first I want to talk to you about embroidery thread. So this is my needle threaded and this is the embroidery thread. You can see that that's a bit thicker than the thread that's on my needle. So embroidery thread comes in thick strands and to get thinner strands what you do is you separate out one or two strands from the main piece and just gently pull that strand out and the thick thread you can put to one side to be used again later. I'm working with two strands. I want to show you how I secure my thread to my felt because I do this the same way no matter what stitch I'm doing. Take my needle and decide roughly where I want my first stitch to be and I pass the needle from the back to the front. I always put my finger on the tail of the thread so I don't pull it all the way through. You're going to make a very small stitch past the needle in the same place we did at the beginning and this time you can see there I've left a bit of a loop. Pass the needle from the front to the back in the same place and then to secure my thread take the needle and I pass it through the loop two or three times in the same direction and then I pull the whole thing tight. The daisies are formed with a French knot in the centre and five petals. To do the French knot, I hold my felt between my ring finger and my middle finger and then I hold the thread in my index finger and thumb, create tension in the thread. I take the needle, I put it on top of the thread, wrap the thread once, wrap the th thread twice and then pass the needle back through the same place that I came out of and that's how you do a French knot. To do the petals, I bring my needle up from the same area as the French knot. This time, bring my thread all the way through. Create a little loop with my thread and then pass the needle down near to the French knot and back up again and the needle should pass over the loop of thread that you've made. And when you pull your needle, you'll have a petal shape. So to secure that petal, take your needle and as close as you can to where the needle came out, go back down so the needle comes through the back. And to do the next petal, bring the needle up through the centre of the flower, make a loop, bring the needle down and back up, making sure that the needle passes over the loop of thread and pull it tight. Secure the petal with a small stitch. I'll catch up with you when I've finished embellishing the front of this heart and I'll show you how to join the two together. Once you've finished decorating your hearts it's time to attach them together. So at this point we're also going to add our hanging loop. So just cut yourself a length of ribbon, fold in half and just place it at the top in the middle of one of your hearts. Now with your needle and thread you're going to secure your thread in the same way as you did at the beginning of this project but instead of just going through your felt you're going to go through the ribbon and the felt and that's going to attach your ribbon. Take your second heart on top of the ribbon so you should be able to see daisies and French knots on both sides and we're going to do blanket stitch to sew the hearts together which is nice decorative stitch and it gives your project a little bit of a folk art feel so to do blanket stitch I hold my thread out of the way between my 
index and middle fingers and then using my thumb my little finger and my ring finger I hold on to my work take my needle and I pass it from the front to the back through both hearts now I'm going to make sure that my needle passes over the thread that I've been holding pull everything tight and we're ready to do the next stitch so again from the front to the back through both hearts and make sure your needle passes over the thread now you're about three quarters of the way around your heart shape you can start to stuff the heart separate out the front and the back pop your stuffing in push it down as far as it goes and then pop a little bit more in pop it up into the top of the heart and do a little bit more blanket stitch and if you feel that before you get all the way around to the top if you feel that you want to put a little bit more stuffing in to this sort of lobe you can do that once you have sewn all the way around in blanket stitch secure your yarn in the same way as you did at the beginning and I'm going to show you how to get rid of your ends so just take it inside between the two layers of felt poke it out the other end pull everything tight snip and when everything springs back the ends will just disappear inside and I hope you guys enjoyed that video uh, if you did give me a like and subscribe to my channel and I will link my social media below in case you want to share any photos of what you've made with me uh, I'll also link below a couple more hand sewing videos in case any of you are interested and I will see you all next time. Bye bye!